Hey guys. Mail call. Just got a notification. I'm at home doing some office work. Um, own my own business and I have an office in my basement. Yeah, I was just taking care of some invoicing and uh, had an alert that a uh, package was in my mailbox and I knew exactly what that package was. And it was a new King Competition. Uh, King Competition Products, eight round caddy. So I've got one of the eights, got two of the twelves. Uh, very, very, very happy with these. Like, like they're changing my shotgun game, no doubt. Uh, super excited. The only issue I find with them is on the 12s, if I have to go into a compromising, like a reverse kneel position or something when they're on my belt, they're a little bulky. Uh, so I wanted an extra eight so I could just run two of the eights. Um, it's a lot, it's a little easier at least. I'll probably end up getting one of the 28 round chest rigs, but uh, we'll see. Um, anyway, the big downfall with these is not even a big downfall, but they don't come with any directions whatsoever. And when you get it, you get a, a bag with the, all these parts in them. Not this part, actually. Not these two parts. But you get all these parts in them. It's a bunch of spare parts and, uh, and some things that are like springs, magnets, stuff like that. So we'll just put them to the side. I don't need those right now. So the things you need to provide are your attachment point. So like a tech lock uh, or an ELS fork. I run a ELS belt rigs, so I need the fork which I have right here, um, a three and four millimeter Allen wrench, Allen key, whatever you want to call it. And then these are the parts you need out of the bag. You need this little guy. That is going to be what um, the second attachment point for this little guy, which actually is your mounting bracket for your ELS or tech lock or whatever. You need two of the longer, bigger screws, two of the smaller screws, and four of the smaller washers that it comes with. So the first thing you want to do is these are going to be for a strong hand pull. So they're going to be mounted on my belt this way with the magnets to my left. Um, so I know that I want to mount it the same as this one. So it's going to be in this slot right here. So the first thing you do is remove this screw. It's a four millimeter Allen head and uh, pops out really easy. It's just a short one. That's going to go back in your bag. You don't need that anymore. Remove the center two. I don't know what they call these main rods, whatever the long three and a half, four inch rods. Um, you don't pull them all the way out, loosen them up. And I'll show you exactly what you do with those. So basically you're gonna be sliding this mounting bracket onto these two rods. So that one's loose. And the springs are not under so much tension that you need to worry about you know, anything coming flying off here, anything like that, it's not gonna happen. Uh, and if it does come apart, you've got other ones on there. I mean, if you actually pulled it all the way apart, you have other ones on there, you'll be able to find the parts and see exactly how it goes back together. Not a big deal. Oh, that's a little stiffer than I thought. I thought I was going to uh, pop it right off with my fingers, but I'm weaker than I thought. So slide this center bracket down all the way, and then slide these two rods out. So you have enough room to get another bracket, mounting bracket in there. So you can see how I have the two rods are just sticking through there. So I'm gonna take this other mounting bracket right here and just fish it right onto those two rods. So it's just stacked right up there. Push the rods back up to the magnet holders and then tighten them back up. And it's easy to see the proper tension because these come set pretty darn well. So I just screw these back down. You'll see this aluminum backer is kind of at, a, at an angle and you just basically want the, the main rod flush with the top of that. So I'm just gonna screw that back down so I can just see the top of it right there. You can see all four of them lined right up perfectly. Screw this one down, so the same thing, I can just see the top of it. And they, this rod is what you would use to adjust the tension on how hard it holds in your shotgun shells, or the length of shotgun shells. Um, so there we go. So now both of these are loose on here. So now you're gonna lay this guy back down. So you wanna have it set so the magnets are to the left. So it's gonna be four pointing towards me, magnets to the left. So I, this guy goes on first, and it's slotted, it can only go on one way. Um, so I need two of the long bolts in here and they go, I put those both through the top, yes. And then now I want, oh, I did not grab two of the big washers out of here. So what I'm going to do is you can see the threads right there. So I'm going to set two of the big washers on top and then two of these smaller washers right on top of those big washers. It would be easier 
if I had a third hand. They're a little bit too far apart, so just slide them together. It's not a big deal. You can fish the washers on top of the bolts right here, and uh, that works too. But that's uh, kind of more of a bigger pain in the butt. So your four millimeter wrench, just get the first one started. Okay, I can't, oh, I'm way out. There we go, so get the first one started. Don't tighten it though. Get the second one on. Again, don't tighten it. Make sure your washers are in fact through there. So this one for me is going to be set up uh, all the way to the right. So I'm gonna slide this black little mounting bracket all the way to the right. Slide this guy all the way to where it's just going up over this screw. And now what that allows, or the washers actually allow it to go up and over. So now I'm gonna take my four millimeter, get that fairly straight, tighten these two screws up pretty good. You don't need to crank them down too tight. They're not going anywhere. You don't wanna bend this thing all up. So take your ELS fork, that's gonna go right in these two screws right there. They're just uh, nuts inserted into the plastic. I put a little washer on each one. Um, I seen a lot of guys don't. So this is the three millimeter wrench, Allen wrench. So get that started. The other one. Get that started. Tighten them down. And you can tinker. Once you get it here, you can tinker for the position you want it. Now I want this particular one right here is gonna be my number two, my eight round, or number two eight round caddy. So I know right where it's going. My number one is going right in front of my pistol. My number two is gonna go right next to that. So right there. Um, yeah, perfect. I'll tinker with the angle a little bit. And uh, yeah, doesn't hit. And we're good to go. So that's it. <clears throat> Everything, I'm just going to double check the uh, the set screws here. Just double check all these guys. And we didn't loosen up any, so these two right here, we didn't loosen up either of those two. And what those do, those set the length of the opposite end of the, the brass on the shot shell. And if you loosen it, it's just the spring will push this guy down in. And you just move it back up and tighten it. It's super simple. These magnets are, are legit. Um, how I load these guys is, is I've seen some guys put them in here first and then force it all down. It's actually easier if you just stick this in here, slide it down, it just drops right in. There we go. That's how you do it. Thanks for watching.